Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be installing the Beam wallet on a Windows 10 PC. We'll be running it as an integrated node. So let's take a look. So here we are at the desktop and we're going to be opening up our browser and we're at the Google homepage and inside the search, I'm just going to type in Beam wallet. It's going to be the first uh, website that comes up here. Beam.mw is the official URL. We'll just click on that and we get to the official website here. And what we can do is click on the download option up at the top and then go to Beam Wallet. And we're gonna be doing the Windows Desktop Wallet. So it's this one over here. We're gonna click on the download option and it's gonna download it. It's a pretty small file and I'll just go to my downloads folder. Okay, there it is. It's about 75 megs in size and uh, we'll just uh, run it as administrator to make sure it runs properly. Say yes to the prompt and just minimize this. And here we go. So I'm gonna be leaving the default path, but if you wanna change it, you can click on these options right over here and change the folder that you want it downloaded into. And then once you've completed that, you can just click on agree and install, and it's gonna go ahead and download all the files on it. Okay, it's successfully installed and now we're ready to run the wallet. So you just click on this link right here for run wallet and it'll load up. So here is the Beam wallet loaded up right now. And what we're gonna do is create a new wallet because we've never used this before. So we'll click on create new wallet and it's telling you that it's gonna give you a passphrase right now. Uh, you don't want anyone to see your passphrase. This is your main access to recover it if it's ever lost. So keep this in a private place or have it written down. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on the generate seed phrase. So here is my seed phrase. And what I can do is I can just copy this. Okay, so I have it copied now, and then what I can do is I can complete verification. You can skip it and do it later, but we'll just go through the full process so you know what's going on. And then we want to say that we understand the risks here. So now we have to put in word number 12, which for me was pretty. And then the next one is going to be word number two. So that was debris. And then number nine, which was net. And then 11, that was maze. And then word number four was frozen and then word number three was hunt okay so i've completed it and i'm going to click on next now you want to put in a password so i'll go ahead and type one in right now you want to make sure that it's uh, alphanumeric there we go so i have it in there twice and then we'll click on start using wallet now that it's setting up a node it wants to set up the listening port so you can leave it as default i recommend leaving it as default unless you have a reason to change it then you can go ahead and specify that uh, once you have it completed you can click on start using wallet it's gonna require access to your firewall. So you wanna say allow access. And now this is when it's gonna sync with the blockchain. So this might take some time, as you can see, it's estimating two hours and about 20 minutes right now. It really depends on your connection to the internet and how big the file is that it's gonna download. So we'll skip to the end of this and I'll show you what happens right after. Okay, it is done syncing. Now that took some time. For me, it was almost an hour and a half. I'm not too sure for you, depending again on your internet connection and space on your computer because it's downloading everything there. Uh, let's take a look at the wallet though. So here we are at the main screen of the wallet. Um, like any other crypto wallet, you have the options to send and receive, which are these options right over here. When you click on send, you can put in the address and then the amount and then you can put in a comment and it should calculate the fees and everything for you as well when you're ready to do that. And let's go back and take a look at the receive. So we'll click on receive. And so here's a QR code and then you can just click on this copy button and it'll copy the address if you wanna paste the address in a message or an email or whatever. And then you can also put in the requested amount and then you can put in a comment and then you have a few and then you have an advanced option over here. And then we'll click on back. So in the main screen, you'll also have how much Beam you have available in your wallet. So in here, you have the atomic swaps and they'll all be listed as well. You can collect more currencies by clicking on the option right there and then going through that process. I'm not gonna go too deep into this. This is just a general overview of the wallet. So we'll just go on to the next one and that would be the address book where you can save addresses that you're commonly using and then it just automatically appears here and then just for quick access. And then you have notifications. There are notifications set by default. And over here, we have the DAP store. You can actually install DAPs from a file by clicking on this and then selecting the file that you want. 
Uh, I have none downloaded, but maybe I'll do a future video on that if you're interested in it. If there's more that you want me to do with this wallet other than just doing a general overview, let me know in the comments below. Um, but that is your Beam wallet. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.